Good morning. I'm out in my garden and it's October and last night was a full moon which was amazing. I've been up to watch the sun rise and the energy here is incredible. This time of year in October it's very breezy and still warm, the winds are warm. You can see all, all the activity with the birds, they're all getting ready to go or arrive. And um, it's something that Mother Nature's doing some crazy stuff just now and everything around us, if you look in nature you can see it's all changing, it's moving, it's growing, it's doing it's all its weird stuff. And so are we, because if we're aware of outside and get outside rather than just stay inside and put the heating on, we realise that we also have to change the way we are doing things, what we're eating, how we're getting up in the morning and what we're doing, because it's going to be darker. So we have to get out more and get that energy and so we don't get the, the sad symptoms, etc, etc, that we, a lot of us suffer with. So doing crazy stuff outside, and things that are childlike are actually very healing things to do. And one thing I've always done as a kid is um, this time of year is go out and catch leaves. So if you stand underneath the tree, this has been really breezy today and I've, I've actually caught two, I'll show you. I have two squirreled in my pocket. Two leaves which I caught before they hit the ground. This means I have two wishes that I can save up and use one day when I need them, which I use in my moon magic um, when I have my new moon. Um, new moon beginnings and manifesting, I quite often use a leaf and leave it outside and let it under a, a pebble from the beach and allow it to grow in energy. And then this time of year, well, this time of the season, when the moon's full and it's gone over, I'll release it and make my wish. So it's something I've always done, um, which please join me, it's really good fun. And it's great exercise running around like an idiot trying to catch, catch leaves in the wind. But um, this time of year, it's really, it's really important to go out and, you know, crunch your, the leaves under your feet uh, if you can do barefoot even if you just stand with your feet on the ground it's very grounding and with the wind and everything's moving we can get all a bit airy fairy and a bit kind of it's we're in vata season so it's, it's breezy um, we can get a bit scattered in our thoughts and it's just because we're bo our body's changing from the extreme heat that we've gone through and this summer has been glorious but we're now going into a cooler phase and with the ley lines being wide open with the, the moon this cycle Mother Earth's doing her thing and she's allowing all the rubbish, all the, the heat from the ground, all those toxins, she's letting it, releasing it into the waterways and into the air. Let's see here in the background. <laughs> um, so it's really important to tune into her and do the same. You know, clean our houses, clean our, our diets and just do it gradually. Don't feel that you have to go and do, you know, something intense and detox and this, this, this. It's a gradual thing. Mother Earth doesn't just wake up one morning go oh it's autumn it's a gradual thing and that's what we need to learn to gradually see the signs in our own bodies which for me it's the second week of september i start getting sad symptoms and i'm aware that oh i'm on the change i can feel it i get stiffness in my neck my shoulder and you know and it's uh, being aware of it now i am aware and i can deal with it whereas a few years ago i couldn't understand why i was so unhappy and depressed and yet i was at my happiest time and yet i didn't feel feel the joy of it and I realised it was the season, season, and I wasn't dealing with it very well because I wasn't actually engaging it, with it fully. Whereas um, now, I do. I honour it, and I honour myself. So yes, I do get excited when I see parsnips, <laughs> and we can eat parsnips. I love parsnips, but time of root veg, of soups, and all those lovely warming things. Times of conkers and having those little childlike games that we all used to do. We can do that now. It doesn't matter how old you are. I'm 56 and I'm living my best life. You know, I'm out here in my pajamas with my bare foot with my, you see my putty cat who's 19, doing really well on her feet and all the, everything else around me. It's just how amazing and how lucky I am to live here. And it's great. And <clears throat> I really appreciate it. I'm very, very grateful. And living a lens of my lifestyle just means that it just gets better and better. And I just follow my heart and follow the joy and I follow Mother Nature and she never lets me down. She always shows me the way and I just follow. And um, I hope that these newsletters and these little vlogs that we're going to be putting out, you can stay in tune with what we're doing. Um, the Power of Three Lens My Gatherings, which are happening um, October 23rd this month, and there's one on the 12th of November, and then we're doing the 21st of December, the Solstice. I'm working with Magdalena Atkinson, who's amazing in lots of ways, and um, the gorgeous Leah, um, yoga teacher who I find on the beach, literally doing beach yoga. So 
These two ladies are of the same energy. They are pure Lensamai and it's an absolute joy to work with them. And I call them friends, sisters, and it's just every, every time I see them, I just feel so, so much happier. And I just feel I'm not alone. And there are lots of people out there like us. They just love nature and um, just love laughing and having fun. So come and join us. They will find on the newsletter, there'll be bits about them. So scroll down, keep looking, keep reading. We'll be offering um, bits of video, maybe a meditation or a new, new track that Magdalena is working on or something that Leah is working on because she does lots of things in nature and immersions. So check us out and come and join us. Join us on one of these um, gatherings we do and um, just have lens of mind in your life and just be happy and go out there and today catch a leaf. And I hope when you do catch a leaf, you just feel the pure lens of my and the joy of catching that leaf and knowing that there's going to be a wish come true and the intent's there and you can make a wish come true. Okay, so whatever you do, be crazy, be like the wind and have a great life. See you later. Bye-bye.